I want to show you an AI tool that could turn any video into at least five different pieces of content, and it works a lot better than ChatGPT. The platform is called video to blog I'll put a link in the description to it, and I've been using it for quite a while just for the blog side, but it could actually do a lot more than just generate a blog from a video. So I partnered with them for this video to show you exactly how I use it to create five different pieces of content. Okay, I'll show you here in my actual dashboard. So when you do create yourself an account, you'll have this dashboard here. And all you have to do is press the plus sign on the right side. And over here, you start with a blog post. That's the initial piece of content that it creates for you. Now, if you have a blog, you could obviously use it. If not, you could always use it to create other pieces, which this will do automatically too. So all I have to do is type in a YouTube link over here. In this case, I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel. Okay, here on YouTube, I'm in YouTube studio. I'm doing this with my own video. You could do this with any video. You just have to copy the video link from the video. I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna paste that over here. Okay, now before I press create a blog post, which you could literally click here right now to create the blog post and other content, but I'm gonna show you some of these core settings. So the length of the post, this depends on how long the video is. So it's recommending right now that I do a short 700 word or so blog post. Now, for longer videos, let's say I had a 30 minute video, I could probably get away with 2,500. You need 25 minutes or longer. That is the recommended length of the original video that you put up here, okay? So language is auto detected. You don't have to worry about that. You could use premium transcription here if you like to. I usually just leave this off. If there are visuals in your video, you could go ahead and add them. So one of my favorite ones is just bring in the video thumbnail into my blog post. You could always embed the video too into your blog post. I'll do that in this case. And you could add screenshots specifically from the video. This is one of my favorite all-time options. I used to actually do this manually, take screenshots throughout the video, make a blog post. This literally does something in about two minutes that used to take me an hour to do manually. Okay, so I'll show you that. Any internal link if you link this to your blog post in WordPress, for example, you could have internal linking on your website, which is a great SEO benefit. It links to related articles and related pages on your website automatically. You could always turn on external links too. So if you send someone from that video to another type of a website, you could turn this on for that. And you could have links from the video description directly imported into the blog post as well. So that could be turned on. The writing style I usually leave on default. This new option is really interesting too. You could upload a sample of a writing style that you wanna mimic. Let's say your own writing style, you could also do that. You could change the tone if you want. Look at all these different options. Now the automatic option is actually really good. It'll pick the most appropriate one. You could change the point of view if you want it from first person or third person. You could also just leave it on auto. And the format could be all kinds of different types of things. I usually make tutorials, but an auto always knows what I'm doing. And you could add other content. So FAQ section is a great thing to do with a blog post or a call to action here. The CTA option could be turned on. And there's this SEO option. If you have a primary keyword for your blog, you could go ahead and type that here. And if you wanna just select a portion of the video, you could do that. I usually want the entire video to be used for my writing. So I'm gonna leave that by default as is. The one other option you have is up here, you could add a custom set of instructions to tell it exactly what you want. But a lot of these filters take care of that. So I usually don't do this. And if you're not very familiar with these custom instructions, you basically could use plain English to just explain what you want. So a conversational tone, for example. But again, a lot of the options below took care of that for us. And now I could go ahead and create my blog post from here. Now it literally takes maybe like a minute. It goes to work, you see it's already 14% complete. And right in front of you, it writes an entire blog post in the format of a very SEO and very reader friendly optimized blog post. Okay, so it only took about 30 seconds in this case to turn that eight minute video into this blog post. It pulled a thumbnail image right on top of my blog post here and it pulled in screenshots from that video. And one of my favorite options is when you click on any of these images, you'll have a bunch of different options to choose from. So I'm gonna make sure Andy looks right here in the corner. So that's what I'll choose. And I could continue to go ahead and choose different options that he selected for me from the video. If I don't wanna add one, I could always delete it as well. So I don't have to use all the screenshots. And again, this is for the blog. If you do want screenshots from the video to get pulled into your blog, I'll delete this one. 
and I just continue to go down and the video is embedded here. In this case, I don't actually want the video embedded, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that from here. Now, I could go ahead and press export, but I'll show you this in a second. And I could also press regenerate if I don't like how it wrote this blog post. But let me click this option right here to show you this. So a blog post score is given to you right on top. So you can see the details of that. So readability, sixth to seventh grade readability, and it shows you a overall score on how this blog is. So that is just really nice to see. And it helps you just learn about what makes a good blog post here. The metadata also gets created automatically. So these are things, if you have been blogging, you know what these are. The meta description needs to be added when you create a blog post. The title, all that gets created here. So you could copy and paste that into your WordPress or wherever you do your blog. The tags also get created automatically for your blog. And the future image that I mentioned that shows up right here is also picked. Now here's where you could now get more than one piece of content. So, so far we got a perfect blog. We're gonna go ahead and post it in a second. But what we also got is under the promotion tab, we got ourselves an Instagram post just like this. I could copy and paste it directly from here. This links back to this article, but I could remove this. I could do whatever I want and I could also regenerate it. We get a Facebook post. And again, I could just copy this section of the Facebook post or copy the whole thing from over here. We got an X post, we got a LinkedIn post, WhatsApp post, and we got an email promotion right here. So this wrote an email for us that we could send to our email newsletter, for example, or to our email list directly copied from here. And this automatically actually creates a transcript of the video too. So if you go to the more option here, you could go to the transcription of the video. This is the entire transcription of the whole video. So you could just copy and paste this. I usually like to just copy it from here with timestamps or without timestamps. Okay, now let me show you this export setting right here. I'm gonna go ahead and export this. This is for the blog portion. The other pieces of content I show you, you could literally copy and paste or regenerate from the previous page. So what you could do here is you could export this multiple different ways, like in a Word doc or a PDF. But what I really like to do is just go directly to my publication where I have my blog. So I use wordpress.org. So if I click this option, this is gonna pull in everything, the tags, the images, the slug, and it's gonna create a draft. So I could look at it one time in WordPress before I manually press publish in WordPress. You could always check this off too, but that is my preferred workflow. I'm gonna press export right over here. And if it's your first time doing it, it's gonna ask you to log into your WordPress so it knows how to do this connection here. Okay, so it took only a few seconds here and it's done. So I'm gonna click to view that on my WordPress. It's gonna take me right to WordPress here. And this is what it's gonna look like on my website, right? Everything is already done. And I usually just go ahead and edit the post directly from WordPress. I'm logged into my WordPress. It's gonna bring me to the back end of this. And anything I wanna modify, I could go ahead and modify here. And I wanna go ahead and actually, my WordPress automatically adds a meta description, but I wanna add the meta description. So I'll go back over here, I'm gonna click away and I'm gonna go back to my meta description, this metadata and take the meta description from here. And you could see I use other third party tools for like a headline and for my SEO and you could see I got kind of a really high score here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press publish right over here. And there we go, it's published live on the website right now. I'm gonna view the post and this is where everybody could see this post right here. And a couple of other things I show you before I wrap up this video, this also has its own publication. So you could actually create a publication if you don't have a blog and create an article on the internet using this setting. So if you don't have a website, if you don't have WordPress, you could use this option as well. And they have this automation here. So you could literally ask it to go and crawl that channel and send you an email every time a new video is posted. And then you could post it and get all those pieces of content. This is a really useful automation tool if you wanna go that route. I manually do it right now, but I did run this automation for a while. I just wanted to be more picky about what videos I do post from this channel to my blog. But if you wanna post every single video, this is a great way to go too. And under settings, this is where you could do all the integrations. So make sure you connect it to your YouTube channel. If you do want to pull in that kind of automation, this is where I connected it to my WordPress. And you could add it to multiple different WordPress websites too. If you use WordPress.com or any other platforms like this, Wix, Shopify, Webflow. And I'll put a link in the description to video to blog so you could try it out for yourself and get five pieces of content very quickly using AI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.